Welcome back. Washington, D.C. has gone dark with Congress on recess, but that has not stopped the administration and House Republicans from formulating a way to pass tax reform. House Ways and Means Chairman Kevin Brady told me here on this program last week he still expects to get this done by the end of the year. Considering, though, the infighting that took place over health care reform isn't realistic and how important is getting a tax deal passed for economic growth. I'm back with Sam Zell right now. And Sam, what do you think in terms of tax reform? Do you think they'll get this done? And number two, do you think if we were to see tax cuts and tax reform, it moves the needle on economic growth. Well, let's answer your question in two different phases. Phase one was, what are the odds of getting it done? Uh, it starts with the definition of getting what done. Uh, lowering uh, the corporate rate from 35 to 15 or 20, likelihood high. Why? Because 35 is the highest rate in the world and makes no sense for the U.S. to have corporate interest rates higher than everywhere else in the world. So the chances of that kind of a change, I think, are significant. Both sides agree on that. That's one yeah. good news. Okay, so, go ahead. Since both sides agree on it, chances of some form of it passing, I would think, would be significant. Um, I'm less uh, optimistic about what I call fundamental changes in the tax law that change the game. Two trillion dollars offshore belonging to Apple and various other people. Uh, offshore, because it would otherwise be taxed at 35 percent, doesn't make any sense. That money should be back in the United States, should be promoting and helping our society, and we shouldn't have a the equivalent of punishment for making money offshore uh, and bringing it home. Do I think that's likely to change? Yes. All right. Yeah. So I think you have to look at tax reform with the varying elements of it and say it doesn't feel to me like Congress is ready to take on um, a major you know, reshuffling of the deck chairs. Yeah. What do you think about the establishment right now? I've been saying a lot on this program and others, it feels like some in the Senate really don't want this president to succeed, frankly. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just going to call it out. You know, what, what happened with the health care vote where you had three senators saying, no, we're not, we're not moving uh, along party lines? What happened in terms of the, the, the debate and the fight over health care and taxes? So what's your take in terms of the Senate? I know that you have donated to the Senate fu uh, Leadership Fund. Uh, is the establishment getting in the way here, Sam? Um, first of all, I think, Maria, you've made assumptions. Your assumption is that we're done with the health care bill. I don't think that's a valid assumption. Okay. Uh, I think you're, you know, you've made some kind of permanent conclusion on the three senators. I don't think their votes are, not ne are necessarily the same in the future. Uh, I think there may be some uh, Democratic senators who would vote for uh, those things tax at a subsequent time. Yeah. Tax reform, health care, etc. So I, don't, I think it's very early to reach conclusions. Um, I think my attitude about President Trump is that he has an extraordinary opportunity to make an enormous difference. If I had to give him a grade right now, it would be incomplete. Uh, I don't think that uh, uh, his motivations are anything but positive. Uh, I think he's a different kind of person and a different kind of president. And it requires a certain amount of adjustment on our part to a different kind of president, not an adjustment on the president's part. Yeah, I think you're right. But I, I wonder if certain people within Congress, whether it be the Senate or, or the House, have made those adjustments, Sam. I very much doubt that. Yeah. Uh, I very much doubt that uh, senators in the Senate uh, want to give up the power of being the majority uh, because they don't like Trump. Not likely. Well, look, if they don't get some real legislative victories this year, there's a real threat that Nancy Pelosi becomes the head of the House. Let's face it, they've got an election next year. Do you see that happening? No. Why not? Because you think they'll get it done. 
uh, I think they'll get some things done, number one. Number two, uh, I think that, uh, unfortunately, the Democratic Party uh, has taken on a, an aging factor uh, that is disconnecting more and more with the American public. So Nancy Pelosi may be a terrific lady, but I don't think she represents the country anymore. I'm not sure she ever did, but certainly not at this point. And I think those changes, uh, and you got to really look at who are the up and coming senators and who are the up and coming House members, where are they from, and how do they, you know, how do they get their power? Well, the red tape and the, the, the amount of time it takes to get anything done today is ridiculous, but the president has been trying to change that. Yes. Rolling back those regulations. Well, it takes more than the president. That's what we've been talking about. That's exactly right. Yeah, and yeah. I think that Congress has to focus on how more than anything else at this point. How about these CEOs earlier in the week who left the President's Business Council because they didn't like the way he handled uh, the, the tragedy uh, earlier in the week in, Char in uh, Charles, uh, Charlottesville? Did they like his opinion of Mexicans better? Uh, or did they like uh, his attitude about other things better? Uh, I just think that uh, that's a, uh, you know, a Grand stand, you know, standing up and uh, want to be counted. Uh, I don't think it makes any sense. And I don't think anybody in the world gave much thought to the fact that the head of Merck was or wasn't on the manufacturing council it's, or that it would make any difference. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter is what you're saying. No. But they wanted to make a statement, uh, you know, uh, about... And they were probably sitting there waiting to make the statement. Waiting for a catalyst. Yeah.